Hello and welcome to Shindu.org. In this video, we are going to look at how to calculate weighted averages in Excel. Now, when you try to calculate a weighted average in Excel, you will quickly realize that there is no weighted average function or formula available. We can calculate average, we can calculate average ifs, we can calculate median and whatnot, but not weighted averages. So how would you go about it? Well, there are a couple of sneaky little tricks that you can apply to calculate weighted averages. And one of them is my favorite. It is to use some product formula. So without further ado, let me get, show you how to do this in Excel. So we got some data here with the uh, various product types and what is the quantity per customer that we have. Let's say smartphones 1.8 quantity sold per customer for some business and laptops 1.23 and video games 4.9. At the overall business level, if I want to find out what is my uh, business co average quantity per customer, we could call this as QPC and this would be the wrong way to go about it, right? If I simply say average, of all of these numbers, I would get some sort of a rubbish number like 2.521667. Now remember, this is wrong. You should, you're not supposed to be doing average of averages. The correct way to calculate this would be to use more information because we don't know how many customers we have in each of those product categories. We are not able to tell you what is the overall business uh, weighted average of the quantity per customers. But if we were to have that information, like if we know how many customers we have, we can calculate this. Given the number of customers each of those products have, we can calculate quantity, which would be customer times quantity per customer. And that's my quantity. And then I can calculate QPC. I'll call this as version one. This is the correct way to do about this, which is sum of quantity divided by sum of customers and that would be 2.31 right but this requires us to add an extra column and this column all it is doing is multiplying these two numbers putting it there and then what we are using is we are not even using that column directly we are using a sum of that column right sum of all those multiplications turns out excel has a function that does the sum of those multiplications it's called sum product what some product does is it takes two sets of numbers, uh, this number and then that numbers, and then it can give me the entire sum of all those individual multiplications. The key criteria here should be that both of them should be of same size, right? If this has six numbers, that should also have six numbers. As long as that is true, Excel can give me multiplication of those two. You can provide multiple lists as well, not just two, but in this case, we only need two. So our total quantity comes up to be 134,000.134,001. And then I just need to divide this with my total customers. And we get weighted average here. That's the weighted average of all of those individual averages, 2.31. So this is how you can use some product formula to calculate uh, weighted averages in Excel. You could have weights and averages or you could have averages and quantities or numbers and then you would do the necessary multiplications to do this. I hope you found this tip very useful. Some product is a very powerful formula. It has several very interesting creative uses. I plan to create another video very soon on my channel explaining some of the advanced scenarios and applications of some product formula as well. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you again soon. If you like this video, please subscribe and share this with your colleagues and friends. Thanks. Bye-bye.